Okay, guys, so uh, I wasn't going to say anything whatsoever about this um, Jill Stein situation where she's having the recounts done in Wisconsin, uh, possibly Michigan and Pennsylvania. But I ran across this video today, saw this uh, video and went, went to her Facebook channel and Twitter feeds and just looked around to see what was going on. And everywhere that I looked, there were negative responses to what she were doing nobody very very few people responded positively about anything she was doing so i ran across this video with her babbling for 17 minutes and looking very nervous uh for whatever reason uh and she basically didn't make any sense when she were talking but anyway i got to looking at the views and in and, and the, and the likes and the dislikes here and when i first logged in here it was only 80 likes but now it's 87 likes and 426 dislikes and i even made a comment myself uh on this video but if you look at the comments and there are over 400 comments 99 percent of these comments are completely negative nobody likes at all what this woman's doing so you have to ask yourself if this is a grass Roots effort as she claimed on CNN and by the way I don't usually watch mainstream media but I only saw her talking on CNN about what was taking place uh, and she kept repeatedly saying that this is a grassroots effort and over 140,000 people uh, supposedly donated $45 or more to this effort and this is how she come up with over six million dollars supposedly now if this is such a grassroots effort and so popular as she says it is why in the world is this video so unpopular with over 400 dislikes why is her Facebook comments up on her Facebook channel go take a look all linked on this video negative comments on her Twitter negative comments if she's getting so much support for this. So you have to ask yourself, where in the world is Jill Stein getting this money from that she has supposedly raised? My opinion, Soros obviously is the reason why she has this money, is the reason why she's quote unquote raised so much money and they are backing this and obviously of course the Clinton people jumped on this and claims well we didn't start this jill did but we're going to go ahead and have ourselves represented in wisconsin now real quick guys i don't want this video to be too long what is uh taking place in wisconsin as of monday evening as of me making this video is that wisconsin uh, she tried to get wisconsin jill did jill stein did to do a hand count which was going to delay the process even longer going to take longer than December 18th or 19th, which is the official deadline for the uh, everything to be done. She tried to get a hand count. Wisconsin turned her down, told her, no, we're not doing that. We're going to do this and we're going to have it done by December 12th. Obviously, Jill didn't like that. Now, this evening also, they gave her a price tag on how much this is going to cost. It's going to cost over three million dollars plus to get this done in just wisconsin alone the last time i checked she had a little over six million dollars she had raised now if wisconsin is costing three plus i think about three and a half million dollars if i'm not mistaken somewhere along those lines how's she gonna have michigan and pennsylvania done she's already missed the deadline in pennsylvania she's not gonna be able to get a recount in pennsylvania but she did go ahead and file a lawsuit today to go to court to try to get them to force to, them to do a lawsuit. Now, the chances are that lawsuit is going to fail. OK, but in the state of Pennsylvania, you also have to have proof of some sort of wrongdoing for them to even do a recount. So the chances of them doing a recount in Pennsylvania are very, 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 very slim. Michigan, she may be able to get a recount in there, but it's costing so much money. It doesn't look like she's even going to have enough money to cover everything. I could be wrong, but it doesn't look like it. But I'm sure she'll miraculously 
come up with all the money like she did in one day when she posted the link up there for people to donate. So guys, let me know real quick, what do you think below this video? Is George Soros funding this thing or is Jill Stein just really concerned about our electoral process and just trying to help Americans out? Or is she just a crook like Donald Trump said? Let me know what you think below this video. Thanks for watching.